Hi everybody and welcome to the First Aid on the Danger YouTube channel. My name is Nick Schenkerfeld and I would like to talk to you about how to prepare your tourniquet in the right way and then put it in your leg pouch. The way that I'm going to show you how to prepare your tourniquet and put it, put it in the leg pouch is the way that we or I see most fitted for the situation. Um, I have my tactical background and I have my education. You have your tactical background and maybe your education. So you might come to different results as I do. So bear with me. I'm just trying to share a way that we fold our tourniquets. If you would wear it in a leg pouch, for example, if you don't have or don't want to have the tourniquet in a tourniquet holster because you don't want extra weight on your belt or you don't have any place left on your belt. For example, if you're law enforcement in the Netherlands, you have loads and loads of stuff on your, on your belt already. So it could mean that you just don't have the room to put it in a belt, but you might have room in your leg pouch. But then you really need to know how to use or how to fold your tourniquet and put it away in the right manner and I really want to show and uh, show you this knowledge that I that I have that I think might be interesting for you if you have different outcomes or different results please feel free to share them we're never too uh, too old to learn and maybe yeah you can surprise me with something that I didn't know of yet so please feel free put your comments down below and if they're good we're gonna try them and might adopt your way so we, please just let us know without further ado the first uh, way of folding and the first way of putting away will be about the shift tourniquet and the second one that I want to show you will be about the combat application tourniquets there are many more different tourniquets the Sam XT tourniquet, the SWAT tourniquet, the soft tourniquet Go, uh, you can go on long, 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 but I just want to show you two different ways of how you can fold a tourniquet in the leg pouch. The first thing that is very important about that is that you should know um, on which leg you're going to wear your leg pouch. I'm a right-handed shooter, so that means that my leg pouch will be on my left side. And this is something that you need to take into consideration, because if I open up my leg pouch now, You can see I have the Sicht tourniquet in here. And what I probably will do in case of an emergency, if I get shot or I want to help my buddy out, I will grab it and pull it towards me. Uh, it is not really instinctual to try to do it like this or try to do it like this. No, I want to face whatever uh, is causing the danger. And then I want to grab my tourniquet and I want to get it out in one swift stroke. And then it needs to fold open and it did without any hustle and bustle that I see some people do. I need to be able to fold it open and then I can place the tourniquet around the injured limb. Okay, but what do I need to take in consideration? There are pieces and uh, buckles, there's the tourniquet rod, there is Velcro, there's all sorts of stuff that could get in the way if I want to place a tourniquet in my tourniquet, uh, in my leg pouch. And this is something you need to take into consideration. So, the way of folding, normally what you see most of the times is Velcro onto Velcro. Um, this is ideal if you have multiple tourniquets in a bigger bag, because then the tourniquets won't stick to each other. But for self-application, it isn't the best way to do it like this. Instead of doing Velcro to Velcro, I'm gonna do non-Velcro side and I place the Velcro side on top, like this. I wanna make sure that the broadest part is before the elastic band. So that means this is the broadest part of my tourniquet, this here, the tourniquet buckle. But I also have this part, what I'm going to do is I'm going to place it under my tourniquet rod so it doesn't come in the way when I try to pull it out. Now if I place it inside my leg pouch, like this, I have no problem. Uh, I have no troubles uh, with getting it out. I can just pull it out without any problems. I can use my left hand or I can use my right hand without any problems and I pull it out. So. What if I would have a combat application tourniquet? I use the SIG in black because we don't have the blue versions here yet. So this is the blue version. We always use blue for training. So the biggest problem of the combat application tourniquet would be this side. So if I would place it the wrong way, like this. 
Okay, I placed it in here the wrong way and now I want to get it out. So I grab it and it gets stuck. You see what the problem is? If I am in a stressful situation now, I can get my tourniquet out really quickly. So this is a problem. This is something you need to think about when you are preparing your material. So, the same thing. I want a piece of non-Velcro and I made sure that I have, yeah, let's call it a handle that I can hang on to. Then Velcro onto non-Velcro side, just the same way. And then instead of getting this bigger piece on the back side, I'll make sure that it is before the elastic band, like this. Or if I were to have a situation, I'm just gonna close it up. Okay, there we go. We have a situation, I open it, it falls open, grab it and pull it out in one swift stroke. It opens on itself, it's on the right way, so I can just put it on there. And there we go. Walk to the beginning of your tourniquet. Try to keep it next to you as close as you can. And there you go. Yeah. So as you can see, it's very important that you know how you prepare your tourniquet. Guys and girls, what I want to teach you is think. Think about how you prepare your materials. And don't ever leave your tourniquet inside inside its plastic wrapping. That is absolute stupid. Over your uh, tourniquet, make sure that you unwrap it before you place it inside. Because the tourniquet needs to be ready to go and then it is ready to go. Uh, if you are, have slippery hands because of blood, and there will be a lot of blood if, if you are helping somebody out with a massive bleeding. It will be very hard to open the package and it will only result into more blood on the ground because it takes you more time to help. So please do not ever, whatever anybody teaches you, this is something that I really would like to address. Don't leave your tourniquet in the plastic wrapping if you have it in your gear set. If you have like a million extra uh, back at home, you can leave them in the wrapping. It's a non-sterile product anyways, it's just a clean product. You can place it in your, in your uh, leg pouch or in your holster or whatever in your eye bag, but please do not leave it inside the plastic wrapping. So that is actually everything that I wanted to share. This is a short video about how you can think about wearing your gear and how to wear your gear and what the consequences could be if you wear it the wrong way. So once again, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Don't forget, if you would like to consider subscribing to our channel, click the notification bell also, and I'll make sure that you can visit our web shop, dutchtmcshop.com. It's in English, German, and in Dutch. So if you only speak English or only speak Dutch, you can also go to our web shop, and I'll make sure to place a link in the description. For now, thank you very much for watching. Stay safe and bye-bye.